So we have the meridian theory, uh, number eight, which is the sa part three ng diagnosing via the channel. Okay. Feeling, in feeling, one is attempting to discern noticeable changes in temperature, yung moisture, and skin texture. So ito po yung hinahanap natin pag palpate. Yung temperature niya, yung moisture, and skin texture. Often the process involves determining if certain areas of the body, as opposed to individual channels, feel different when compared with others. So, i-compare po natin yung napalpate natin na changes dun sa other areas kung the same. Yung temperature, yung moisture, and skin texture. Consequently, the technique of feeling may not always involve channel diagnosis, but may simply be an aspect of diagnosis in general. So, pwede diagnosis in general, hindi lang po nakabasa sa channel diagnosis. For example, one may determine that the abdomen around CB12 is significantly warmer than the area below the umbilicus. So, ang example dito, pagpalpate ng CB12, uh, warmer po siya kumpara po uh, below the umbilicus. This may indicate heat in the tie-in and or tie uh, yang ming channel. So, yung po yung War warming sensation sa CB12. Extreme warm naman in any area is generally a sign of excess. So, uh, masyadong mainit, ibig sabihin there is a presence of excess heat. On the other hand, if cool regions of the body are dry, there may be generalized blood deficiency. Kung ang whole body ay parang dry ang skin, uh, it could be a generalized blood deficiency. While this type of feeling certainly aids in diagnosis, it may not help one to differentiate which of the channel or in, are involved. So kung buong katawan ang merong symptoms like dry skin, uh, hindi natin ma-differentiate. So we should further ask about the history ng patient. Specific channels can, however, be differentiated using this technique. For example, kung merong cold swelling or merong dry skin anywhere around the ankles often indicates Xiaoyin deficiency, while an excess warm neck reflects excess heat at the Tai Yang level. So, in general, Yung dryness in areas associated with particular channels can indicate a deficiency of yin or blood in, in the channel, which is failing to nourish the skin. The smaller and more specific the area of change as to channel, the more helpful the changes will be for channel diagnosis. So kung more specific po yung changes na, na palpate or na notice natin sa specific area, mas na uh, categorized or mas nalalaman natin kung alin pong channel ang affected. In general, to be significant, the changes felt along a particular channel should conform to at least two of the three criteria described above. So kailangan po uh, nag-conform sa at least two dun sa tatlong criteria para Ma sabi natin yung channel ang affected. An exemption should be the case of, of a chronic one-sided condition where chi and blood on a particular limb have been compromised. For example, yung chronic neck or shoulder pain may lead to dryness farther down the channel on the forearm or hand due to chi and blood stasis over a long period of time. In that case, it is unlikely that there would be a corresponding dryness on the opposite side. So pwede rin i-check natin doon sa opposite side kung the same po yung nangyari, kung may presence of dryness. Also, in chronic cases such as this, multiple channels may readily become involved. 
So pwede ang other channels would also be affected. Sa feeling, the channel uh, this reveals uh, different, halimbawa, different temperatures on abdomen, ito mag-indicate ng condition of associated burner. Like sense of heat above the umbilicus usually indicates spleen and stomach. So sa taas ng umbilicus, um, yun po yung spleen and stomach heat. Cold below naman often indicates kidney deficiency. Okay? Yung feeling naman ng general dryness, uh, this indicates that systemic blood deficiency open ang affected yung spleen and liver. Sa pagkaroon naman ng local dryness, blood and or yin deficiency in channels that pass through the area. So dito mas ma-determine natin kung aling channel ang affected kung local dryness po. Maybe due to stasis in the channel. Pag local temperature variations naman, like heat, meron siyang heat or phlegm or fire in the channel or channels, like kung meron naman ng cold, there is cold, blood stasis, or chi deficiency in channel or channels. Pwedeng isang channel or uh, more channels are affected. So yung po. Sa specific types of channel changes, uh, the term channel palpation refers to all three of the techniques described above. The channel palpation means palpating, pressing, and filling in turn. As the thumb moves along the course of the channel, one might stop to press or take note of how a particular area feels. As previously noted, channel palpation is usually done below the elbow and knees. In addition, the course of Bren and do vessels and the urinary bladder channel are also often palpated on the head, back, and abdomen. On the abdomen, the front alarm or yung move points might also be pressed to determine excess and deficiency. In terms of modern physiology, one might say that majority of these palpable channel changes are occurring in the connected tissue of the body, just below the surface of the skin. The changes can be found in various linings that surround all the structures of the body. This is where the channel chain moves. Okay. So dito po may wrong illustration. Yung Hands, ito pong may mga circular. Yung hands and feet, yung harap and likod. When palpating the channels, the areas below the elbow and knees are most important for finding diagnostically significant formation. The rent and the channels are also often palpated. So dito po yung areas na check natin yung changes ng skin uh, para ma-determine natin yung uh, channel affected. Okay? 